everybody, Monty Reed here for Slam Cooking and Thrive Single Serve Magic Teriyaki Beef. We're going to be using the freeze-dried beef dices, also known as the large beef dices, referred to sometimes as steak tips. And so uh, we have the large beef dices. You can use uh, the roast beef or the small beef dices as well. Um, but we'll start with the teriyaki base. And so the teriyaki base is very simple. It is uh, Thrive Honey and some soy sauce. Uh, I like the taste of the molasses that comes in brown sugar, so uh, you can do an alternate. Uh, today we're going to be using half brown sugar and half honey. And so for the base, we're going to use simply a half a teaspoon of honey and half a teaspoon of brown sugar and uh, also a freeze-dried soy sauce. Now if you don't have any of that yet, uh, you can add the soy sauce later. But the freeze-dried uh, soy sauce, we're just going to use a half a teaspoon of that. And that's your base. Now I will uh, make these up in advance, uh, 21 of them for 21 Club, uh, 10 or 20 just to have on hand because teriyaki is one of my family's favorites. It's quick and easy. Uh, it's ready in three and a half to five minutes depending on how hot your water is. And uh, it's a lot of fun. Now, of course, uh, you also have to have the Chef's Choice All-Purpose Seasoning Blend, and I use a quarter teaspoon of that. Now, that is your teriyaki base for uh, teriyaki beef. And you want to serve that with rice. Uh, I've tried doing it with brown rice and found that everyone thinks they like brown rice, but your sales are going to be about 30% higher if you use white rice because people like what they like. And so uh, they say they want to eat healthy, but when they're judging what they're going to buy, they're going to judge it by how it tastes. So serve it with white rice. And uh, I use the Thrive Instant Rice because it's ready in, in minutes as well. So to that base, you're going to add your cooked beef dices. And those are the larger pieces. You can use, like I said, you can use the smaller ones if you'd like. And for a single serve, you can use as little as three tablespoons. And then you could actually top this jar up with rice and then you've got a single serve. Uh, but for the cooking demonstrations and my parties, I like to almost fill that up. And then I'll cook the rice separate because people want to see how that tastes. And basically I'll do a large batch of rice and then we can serve the rice with the teriyaki beef, teriyaki chicken, the curry chicken, and a variety of the other things. Rice goes well with uh, the instant beef tacos as well. So this is your teriyaki beef base in a jar meal. And in order to hydrate that with the slam cooking meals, we do everything in the four ounce uh, jars if we can. And that simply means four ounces of water boiling and you dump it in to the four ounce jar meal and stir until it's ready. So four ounces of water. I put it on gas high heat. You can use the microwave if you want. And if you are using the freeze-dried soy sauce, it's already in there. So all you need to do now is mix it up to refresh all of the ingredients. The uh, honey, the brown sugar, and the soy sauce, and the chef's choice combine in the water to make a marinade. And because the freeze-dried beef is thirsty, it wants that hydration. You'll be hydrating it with marinade, so the flavor goes through and through. Tastes more delicious than meats that are simply marinated on the surface. And so we're just going to stir this, bring it to a boil. And these larger pieces, I'm going to poke them with my uh, spatula to feel how firm they are. And if they're still hard, it's because they haven't refreshed or hydrated. So you want to just flip those. <laughs> and continue to stir, to stir and flip. So you get the hydration in there. Now... If you don't have the freeze-dried soy sauce and you're using traditional soy sauce, I re recommend a gluten-free soy sauce like the Bragg's Aminos. Uh, and at this point, you would want to add the soy sauce after the beef has been touched by the water. Because if you put the soy sauce right in there and it hits a dry piece of the meat, that one piece will soak up all the soy sauce and there won't be any soy sauce for the rest of the dish. So you want to make sure everything's touched, and at this point is when you would pour in the liquid soy sauce if you don't have the dry. And uh, so the, the freeze-dried Thrive beef tips, or um, diced beef, large beef, is fully cooked. And so all we need to do is to refresh it with the water, 
get the flavor in there and of course get it tender. So it's one large piece, it's a little firm in the middle, so I'm just going to keep turning that. This one's soft, They're all, all of these are now soft and you could actually serve this. But I like to let some of the water evaporate. The four ounces seems like a little bit too much, but with the four ounces it allows all of those flavors of the honey, the uh, brown sugar, the chef's choice seasoning, and the soy sauce to mix and mingle to get f fully throughout. If you use a smaller amount, you may not get your flavors completely combined and mixed. And then what you'll be looking for is some of the natural oils in the meat will come out and mix with the honey and the brown sugar and that'll create a caramelization. If you look at the bubbles, you'll see uh, the bubble texture uh, will show you that um, caramelization starting to show up in the edges of the bubble the bubbles. And in the pan, the outside is hottest because uh, with the flame, the flame's coming up and heating the outside edge. So this is where you're going to see that caramelization show. Be careful not to overheat it because you can overheat it and dry out the meat and you don't want to do that. I mean you're refreshing it. You see this is tender. It's now falling apart and uh, just going to be delicious. And we're going to serve that over some of the Thrive Instant White Rice. And as I mentioned, I have uh, gone with health conscious uh, meetings and I brought the brown rice and I've served it and everyone says they want brown rice. But the reality is people like what they like. And when it comes down to uh, making a change in their groceries, they're going to make the change based on flavor. And I've found that people say they want brown rice and they know it's good for them, but when they're coming down to judge the flavor of the teriyaki, brown rice will usually lose you about 30% of your sales. So even though brown rice is the way we eat it at home, uh, for most audiences, you're going to want to serve it with white rice because then they'll fully taste the texture and the flavor of the Thrive teriyaki beef. And this is a lot of fun. You can use it for parties, for home demonstrations. Uh, we like to have a bunch of these sitting on a shelf, so if somebody's hungry and I'm not home, uh, we got teenagers, uh, they can just uh, boil, the, boil the water and throw the ingredients in, and five minutes later, it's ready. And uh, like I said, you can put the rice in the jar, but I like to do the rice separate. And I'll show you that in another video, uh, how we prepackage the rice for slam cooking meals and uh, parties. As you're hydrating in the smaller pan, you can take and push everything off to the side to make sure that the, the beef is fully immersed in the flavors. And look for those caramelization in the bubbles. So as it starts to thicken, you'll notice that you have teriyaki sauce instead of teriyaki uh, water. When you drip, uh, pour it across the pan like this, look at those sides of the bubbles and then we pour it back and see how slow it goes. We know that that sauce is thicker. It's almost thick enough. We go, if we go any longer, it'll, it'll end up being too thick. So when it's that slow to come across the pan, that's when you're ready. So we turn the heat off, and you can let that sit for just a minute. It'll continue to hydrate. And go ahead and dish up your rice, plate up the rice. And then we'll just serve that teriyaki beef right over the rice and just put look at that look at the bubbles you can see that teriyaki sauce is delicious and ready to go and for parties i like to use the sample cups that come in your starter kit you can also get them at costco business you can get them at most restaurant supply you take that little bit of rice in there and make sure the rice has the sauce on it see how it's brown a piece of meat and that is how you have them sample it. Mmm. Teriyaki beef. Delicious. There we have Slam Cooking Thrive Single Serve Magic Teriyaki Beef. I don't always eat, but when I do, I prefer thrive. Keep thriving, my friends. <laughs>